right, so I'll get into the CRT, critical race theory, DCT, whatever. After Glenn Keep doing Yeldon this one with dog whistles. Virginia, the left hasn't and that's engaged the... in any reflection whatsoever. Instead, they're accusing Virginia voters, the people who just elected an African-American lieutenant governor, of being racists. And when he pushes talking they keep points giving you this dog whistle bullshit. Flirt with and stoke white backlash. Have so a dog. A bell dog would be a better answer. The Hit the bell, you get an A. Uh, that is that, that's that's basically what um, that's old hat the goes back to general relativity. You should get an A in a classroom. Heard what it does. The problem you see with that is this math problem is very hard. Yeah, it's not impossible. Was, it's like colleges uh, go to racism. teach Horrible first racist, graders, uh, second graders, like kindergartners through 12, and um, college teachers. That's, that's what they the do. They they form a syllabus. Like, what, that, that's what they do. The problem is in critical race theories, there is no similar syllabus. It doesn't promote whistle. growth to somebody's free will, which is crazy because Democrats are actually pushing the whole wear a mask thing, don't have the free will, there's not really a difference. And not only that, this is a math problem. This is a math problem that takes an infinite amount of time and an infinite amount of resources to solve this problem. So why lead with it? Yeah, it's like you have kids learning things, that's what it does. Manage it in the local board meeting. Say these kids got A's, these kids got F. There's a, as long as there's a, uh, what is it, at the end of the year, you take the SATs. Now, SATs is a national thing. It's it's across the board. It says, well, you have the skills, you don't have the skills. It tells you the same thing as COVID in the area level in the curve. Now, why wouldn't you want to do that? If they can suspend that liberalism. You know, the same uh, reason in COVID it happened. We had in New York that the uh, the Great Lakes or something like that, or one of the Finger Lakes, had a big problem with a certain group where it isolates out, it stands out a point. And it gets even weirder into critical race theory about these things when you get into gender equality and things like this, and you won't call a horse a horse. Ninth grade dissecting frog experiment should be the same in New York as it is in California. And no offense, but China and Russia... How do we how do we quantify what the game is for a test? It's like how do, I got to find out who's smarter, your guys or my guys? And it's not even that your guys are my guys. It's just like we need to find the smartest of them right here. Uh, how could I do that without running the experiment on them? Well, there's two types of experiments. Go back to the the harder math problem. In the beginning, it's every math problem that these kids have to learn. It's every book that they have to read because of contextual situational awareness and general rel or in special relativity. Now, my momentum and their momentum, even if we're the same age, have the same job, might lead to different circumstances because of these problems. And you have to teach that math problem. It's one that we've all learned, and we don't have a standard Einstein, right? We don't have a Bell's equality. We don't have a Lagrangian. We don't have a... Uh, Mikowski, and we don't have a Ricci tensor. We don't have a boson. And that's what you need for a teacher in the sector. You and need somebody you to say, you know, when you come in here, it's, it's a after action report. It's a, a pretext to uh, Article 15 after action report. That is how you teach something because it's one plus one. Down, the result should be a negative number because system. I need a negative number. And I need that punishment inside the system for an after action report to deal with the trajectories, to deal with the timelines, the potential momentums. And there you have To Kill a Mockingbird, don't you? There you have Hemingway. There you have Shakespeare. I think it was Shakespeare into the breach once more. Now, these are pretty heavy concepts. We're actually still talking about esoterics and eschatology, which is a heavy-duty class. This is the nature of what kids learn every day with something like PSTD. What would you learn? Stick, don't stick your dick in the electric box? Why? Post-traumatic stress disorder? Pavlogian dog natures, general relativity, fascism, Marxism, socialism. I mean, what do you want? What do kids want to do? We have we have a topic. We have something in the room. You kids, as a group, made a determination, like a senate, like a senate, just as kids, of what you guys think the most important thing is and how we will begin to report on this. Some of it will be math. Some of it will be archaeology. Some of it will be writing skills of different hey, forms. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hot.